Hello everybody, The here today, and we have another computer. This computer is a Tiger Pro. It has a something something megahertz Cyrix M2 processor. It has two hard drives, believe it or not. Two floppy drives and two CD-ROM drives. Whoever had this computer decided that they would go all out on the peripheral devices and then skimp on the CPU. But I'm not going to complain because having a Cyrix CPU in addition to the incredible mass of AMD and Intel CPUs I have is rather welcome. Let's just get that right there now. So let's power it on. This is a fully AT system. We'll get into the BIOS so we can see the... Uh, stuff. You can see the Cyrix M2 300, or could. We'll see it better in a second, probably. Um, okay, so drive drive 1 is 13 gigs, and then drive 2 is 4 gigs. So, I don't know. Whatever. Nothing interesting in there. Advanced chipset setup. Uh, it's not changeable. Power management setup. You can enable disable APM, and I'm going to enable that. Um, you can change your IRQ stuff, which you can need to. And that's that. So save settings and exit, and we're all good. Let's reboot. You'll be able to see the Cyrix M2 processor, the SCI graphics thing that just popped up. 4 megabytes of VGA RAM and around 82-ish megabytes of RAM. Here we're booting. Obviously booting Windows 98. Boots up pretty quickly, you know, as far as Windows 98 systems go. Um... This is only being operated with a keyboard right now, as there is no PS2 keyboard mouse. So you have to use adapters. There, however, is an AT-DIN uh, keyboard connector. So I'll use that and I'll show you the uh, back of it real quick while this starts up. Press enter because I still have a thing. Okay, so on the back we have our power supply, which is non-switching. What would you expect from a computer this old. Our, um, some sort of serial connection. It says COM2, but I'm not sure what kind of serial that is. Uh, I think it might be DP25 serial, I'm not sure. Here's your parallel printer, your VGA plug, which is occupied, uh, your small serial, RS-232 serial, and your AT DIN, which I have adapted to a PS2 keyboard. I have a 56K Modio modem. Modio because it has audio and modem on the same card. Those are so stupid. And then another audio card with joystick support. So, rather run of the mill PC. Generic kind of white boxy thing for the time period. Um, it has some personal information on it and that lovely desktop background, but. Mm, whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna be a stickler about that. Let's just get that down right now. Uh, let's get out of that. Let's tab over to the desktop. Get out of that. Come on. There. That's what I wanted. Now it's not all impossible to use. Uh, Windows with only a keyboard, but it is quite a challenge. <laughs> so this is registered to GL Knight. That's probably not the person's real name. And see the Cyrix instead, Cyrix M2 300 megahertz processor. I think it's 300 megahertz anyway, I'm not exactly sure. We can check that out on Device Manager if we tab over one. Uh, it says standard serial mouse, but there is no mouse, so it's probably having a fit. Uh, here's our disk drives. We have a Maxter 9 series, 
and a WDC AC24 300L. Okay, great. Our display adapter is an SIS 5597 or 5598, I'm not sure which. We'll check it out when we get inside the computer. We have a SIS IDE controller or SIS, whatever. Um, down in system devices. Not what I wanted. Um, no, this doesn't list CPUs like other things do, but oh well. Um, let's get out of that. Alrighty, so let's check out what kind of programs we have on this. Okay, so we have Agent Newsreader, um, Microsoft Reference Bookshelf Basics, Norton Antivirus 2002, Norton Ghost 2001, Roxio CD Creator 5, some stuff in the startup, Microsoft Find It Fast, Office Startup, and System Monitor. Ultra Edit, I have no idea what that is. Some old antiquated version of WinRAR. Hmm. Um, and Zone Alarm. Very interesting. There is a very old version of Office installed, probably Office 95. And there's a bit of personal stuff on here, but not a ton. Um, let's see here. Let's go into computer and find out what we have for... Let's get out of that, come on. There we go, finally. That's funny, if you, if you arrow over the drives, it'll try to read from the drive. Which is amusing. All right, so here's our 11.3 gig drive and our four gig drive, which appears to have something on it. Uh, I don't, not much. But all right, anyway, that's that's all I have to show for the operating system. Just a typical Windows 98 install, really. Everything is typical with me, but hey, let's see if this thing needs defragmenting. Be interesting to check. I'll be back once our scan is complete. Well, I forgot that this Windows 98 version doesn't just analyze, it actually defragments. But I bet Microsoft and Intel must be quite mad. Yep. Poor Intel, betrayed by the loathsome scum that bought this computer, they switched to Cyrex scumbags. It's like that new Verizon commercial. The, the birds came back to land of good reception because, yeah, I don't know, it was a stupid commercial. But anyway, shut it down and we'll get a good view of the inside. Spoiler alert, there's thumb screws. And here we are in the internals. There's one front fan, which is seized actually because of this little bracket that's in front of it. <laughs> I'm not sure if they have the fan actually plugged in or not, and I don't think they do because it uses a weird power connector. But, I don't know, that aside, um, this, fan, this thing doesn't really need that much ventilation anyway. It's a Cyrus M2 system. I mean, it does get quite hot down there though, but I just felt it, so. Here's our first drive. It is the uh, WD1, and it has the newer logo. Newish logo, anyway. It's a caviar of some description. And the Mac store is up here. Um, there's an XT Pro 2, or no, TX Pro 2, I'm sorry. There's a bunch of uh, ISA compatibility stuff. And SD, SD RAM, you can see up there, it has one SD RAM. Thing. I would assume that's probably 32 megabytes and then another 32 and then 
16. I think that makes around 84 megabytes, give or take. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to math. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's that's about all she wrote, really. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's not a terribly interesting system. Um, it's got the Cyrix M2, which is cool. Don't don't get me wrong. Having a Cyrix M2 is awesome, but it's yeah, it's just a white box PC. So, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.